Hey guys, if you like this content, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys liked the video and subscribed to my channel. It helps uh, make these videos worth it going forward. What's up guys, Alcoin Trevor here with a crypto market review. As always, this is not financial advice. I'm not an expert, do your own research. Okay, so this is BTC USD on the weekly. And everybody was crying for volatility and we all got it. We got it to the downside. Um, this is the BTC USD on the weekly, as I said, and you can see that this 200 EMA has acted as um, resistance uh, on this recent move um, up. As of right now, on the higher time frames, I think that you can just say that this is a bear market rally. Um, I don't personally see this as any sort of significant, um, conclusive bottom that you can really call quite yet. Um, I believe that, you know, bottoms take a long time to form. I believe that, um, that, that there's probably potentially more downside to come. And yeah, I, I don't really think you can call this the absolute bottom quite yet. This to me would just be similar to something like this, where, you know, we have this like lower high that was formed in April and then price nuked lower. And until we see some sort of um, true capitulation uh, or some sort of change in macro, uh, you know, I, I don't think you can call this a bottom. If you look at my other videos, you'll see that um, I have a few different ways that this could probably play out um, for a bottom, a bottom pattern. And number one, one potential one is a double bottom. So it's exactly what it sounds like. Turn this off where you know price comes back down has like a lower high and then revisits some of the lows or even breaks past it and and then uh continues up so that that's one potential uh reversal pattern is this double bottom that we could see right now i, I do expect that you know the 17.5k uh, level will get uh taken out eventually i i don't know what it's going to look like or how but i do believe that this is potentially one way that price could uh, reverse Another one is like one last final capitulation wick down, um, I don't know, maybe to like 12K or, or 10K or something. Or, and then after that price just chops around for many months and then it recovers. And this is another um, type of potential bottom as well that you could see, kind of an accumulation bottom. This would be similar to the 2018 6K level where price um, taps at 6K level several times and then it falls to 3K and then it um, chopped around for many months and accumulated and then price continued higher. So that would be like option number two. Um, don't quite know what to expect, to be honest. And I think, as I said before, it's a little bit too early to call like the uh, bottom. And um, I'm more just kind of wait and see and, and see what's going to happen um, level to level. So this is the high time frame view. As I said, this is, you, I don't think you can, you can conclusively say that this is like, um, this is any sort of reversal. Um, 200 EMA still acting as resistance. I would see a potential double bottom um, as a reversal pattern. Excuse me. Um, okay, so let's uh, scroll down to the daily. Uh, in my eyes, I think there are three key levels here. Number one is this 17.6K level. And that level is obviously the overall swing bottom. If this level does get taken out, which I expect it to actually get taken out, I don't know what it's going to look like. It's not that far away from here. Um, then obviously things are going to get ugly. And the overall reaction from that time is going to be the one to, to really watch. Um, you know, if price wicks down below and has like a strong daily close, um, like lots of volatility, maybe that's the bottom. I, I don't know. Um, you know, I, I do expect there to be some sort of reaction around that area anyway from six, 15, 16 K area. Those areas should provide a, a bounce, but again, don't know what it's going to look like. Um, or if that's even the overall macro bottom, uh, you know, you could say 10 K is the macro, overall macro bottom. I, I just don't know, but we'll take it level to level overall. I do expect that level to, to get taken out. So the second level, in my opinion, that is interesting is this 18.6K area. And the reason is that this was the area where price found a bottom, as you can see recently. Um, 
it makes sense. I mean, if you mark these uh, current previous areas, these were all support levels from before, all the way back in June and July, and price bounced off those levels several times. So it makes sense that the, this area still has um, some support in general. And the fact that these levels haven't really been revisited um, all the way since uh, July means that generally speaking, there will be some, so, some sort of support um, around that area, at least in the short term. Don't expect there to be some sort of like massive, like, you know, buying where this goes all the way up to like mid 20Ks or anything like that. But um, at least in the short term, uh, I do expect this level to hold. Now, again, I, I I don't think any lines on the chart or, or any of that is really going to be able to tell you where the bottom is. Um, analysts such as myself, you know, this TA doesn't really help in terms of the overall macro view. There's too many forces, too many big players, you know, and, and BTC is still so, so much of a risk on asset that I, I don't really think that anybody doing TA can really tell you exactly what the macro bottom is going to look like. What we can do is we can just map out some charts um, in the short term and, and, and do some different trades based on probability. And as of right now, I do believe that the short-term bottom is in around this area. Again, uh, the reason being is just that this, this, these current levels are strong support levels. Um, they, they do seem like areas th that are interesting uh, for overall buyers. And, um, and yeah, I, I do believe that this, this will at least be the short-term bottom. Um, don't, think this is going to go to mid 20Ks or anything like that, as I said before, but certainly a move up to at least 20K is certainly um, possible before further downside. Um, you know, further downside could come. Don't know what that's going to look like. Uh, 200 EMA on the four hour uh, should be coming down probably, I'm guessing, around like this this high 20.7K 20, um, 20. area is my guess is it's going to keep on coming down. And it would make sense to me that price... Uh, you know, chops around and then maybe comes back up to 20K or something like that and then potentially dives down again. Um, I do believe that this is a decent short-term bottom, though. And, and yeah, that, that's kind of my overall opinion. So, overall, as I said, uh, this overall price action to me is still very choppy. I don't quite know where price is going to head in the, in the mid-term um, at all. As I said before, one potential reversal pattern that you could have is the double bottom where, you know, bottom here, bottom here where price just chops around, kind of comes back to up, comes back down. Maybe it just chops around for like a while, another few months for all we know. Uh, certainly a possibility where price could just do this and then, and then that's just the bottom and then price recovers from there. Um, but until that time, I don't really honestly know what it's going to look like. Um, I just think that the bottom will have um will see some we will see a takeout of the 17.5k level that much i've been pretty adamant upon even if you look at my videos all throughout kind of july and june i was pretty um, i felt pretty strongly that this level was going to eventually get taken out i just you know as i said before i don't know what it's going to look like um i do think it will be a good buying opportunity um and i have buys all throughout 16 to 12, uh, 12k personally um, you know, different analysts say DCA is a bad idea. I, I think it, it's a fine idea for many people who don't have the time to trade. Uh, if you are an active trader, obviously DCA is probably not the best um, use of your capital if you're an active trader. But again, it really just depends on your overall strategy and your investment um, style. So overall, um, if you look at BTC, though, it, you know, it's, it's pretty inconclusive. We have had these two streaks where price consolidated and then dumped. And, you know, we've seen this type of consolidation pattern too on higher time frames as well, where um, you see consolidation dump, consolidation dump. And this is, this is a bit what happened, you know, over uh, the May to June period where price chopped around for quite a while and made another leg down. And price also did the same thing up here in February to March and April. But it did have this bear market rally um, right around uh, the late March period, whereas this period overall in June never had that that strength to get back up. So, so whereas you know April and the April March April rally um, 
it had enough strength to get up to the lower high. So I'll, I'll illustrate it here. Um, so four more levels. You just mark some levels of the bottoms. Okay, so here are some levels. So what I mean by this is that when you start to take, take this away, you would mark it like this, where, you know, this is the overall bottom here, established back in December of 2021. And, you know, you mark this bottom, you see if price has the strength to get back up to this level. And, in fact, it did. Price, you know, nuked lower here. Had consolidation, nuke. Made a bear market rally up to 50K and then, and then dumped lower. It hit the lower, you know, former high, or the former low, I'm sorry. Had a big move down, consolidated again in May of 2022, and it did not have the strength to hit this former floor. You know, the former floor, a bear market rally would be 36K. Unlike back when we saw in March to April, you know, where it went all the way up to the floor and then it, it, it nuked lower, it didn't have the strength to get up that point. And similar to this recent rally here in August, I was I actually expected it to get to the floor of 28k, and price did not have the strength to get there. You know, we didn't we didn't see this we didn't see price have the strength to get up to the 28k and then dive lower. So it, it, it was not strong enough like this March, uh, April period of 2022 where price came up, reached the former floor of the consolidation area, and then it dumped lower. Um, we, we just didn't see the strength. So, so right now, this, this current period, it, it's different than what we saw back in um, March to April. It's more similar to, um, well, I guess it's it's in between. So, you know, we did have a nice bear market rally. It went from 17.5K all the way up to 25. Very nice move at that point. Um, but it still didn't have the strength to get up to the former floor and then it, uh, before retracing. So that's kind of what uh, I'm illustrating right now is is that, that that's kind of where I'm getting at is where I thought the 28K logic was. I, I was a strong believer of 28K, but obviously it's it's looking, it's more, looking more and more that that's just not going to happen. So going forward, as I said, what I'm watching is a takeout or, you know, we're going to wick down past 17.5K. I feel pretty strongly about that. Don't know if that happens right here or if we hit some sort of, um, you know, small rally before then. Could go up to 22K or maybe even 25K if we're feeling if if the market rallies uh, with a macro. But um, certainly do believe that 17.5K is going to get taken out and it could get taken out now. Maybe we consolidate now and then just nuke lower to 14, 15K and then um, and then kind of wick down. And, and that's the bottom um, again. What I'm really watching for is just what happens after 17.5K gets taken out. Uh, that is something I feel pretty strongly about. Um, after that, I have no idea, but I am watching, as I said, double bottom uh, potential. I am watching for big, strong wick down, followed by lots of chop around and accumulation. Those are the main two patterns that I'm really watching at this point. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Stay safe out there with uh, the overall trades.